Oh no! I think it's about time for my punishment day and my execution. Oh my gosh! I think this is going to be extremely so bad. I have a horrible feeling about what's going to happen. Wah! All right, Jim. It's now 10 a.m., and do you know what this means? Yes, officer. It's time for me to have a punishment day and my execution. Yes, that's right. Now, let's go. And by the way, there is a lot of people here to see you, and they are all going to be involved in your punishment day, including me, and everyone is all waiting for you. So now, come on Jim, let's go. Wah! Hello there Jim. I heard all about what you were trying to do to my brother yesterday. And I am extremely so mad at you about it. How dare you? I can't believe you were trying to give Matthew a punishment day yesterday for something he didn't even do. I really hate you so much for what you did. So now, it's time for your punishment day. And me, and lots more other people is here to help us out with your punishment day today. And you are getting executed after this punishment day is over with. So now, let's get started with your punishment day. Wah! First punishment, I will pepper spray your eyes. And your eyes will turn red after this. I hope this burns severely. Oh no 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 Sarah, please don't do it. No, you be quiet Jim. This is what you get for being such a horrible troublemaker, and a horrible criminal in our neighborhood. So now, I am pepper spraying your eyes, and that's final. Here it goes. Wah! Oh my gosh, Sarah. It burns, it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns. Oh my gosh, this is so unbearable. Wah! Good. This is what you get for being such a horrible troublemaker, and a horrible criminal in our neighborhood. So now, it's time for your next punishment. Wah! Second punishment, you will be drinking expired milk. Oh my gosh, this milk expired a very long time ago. This milk expired September 9th, 2000. Oh my gosh, are you crazy? There is no way I'm drinking this mess. Because it will taste so gross and disgusting. Jim, you better drink that expired milk right now. This is a part of your punishment day, and if you don't drink that expired milk, we will have Matthew to add more punishments to your punishment day. Wah! Fine, I will drink it. But y'all are going to regret it. Wah! Oh my gosh, that tasted absolutely horrible. And now I have extremely bad taste in my mouth from the expired milk. Wah! That's wonderful. You deserve it for being such a horrible troublemaker in Ardmore, Alabama, and for being such a horrible criminal to everyone in the Ardmore neighborhood. So now, it's time to move on to your next punishment. Wah! Third punishment, you will be staying in this padded cell without anywhere to sit down for four hours straight. Oh my gosh! I'm so unable to stand up that long. I am way too old to stand up for a long time like that. 
So please officer, please don't make me do this. Oh yes you are. You are standing up in this padded cell for four hours straight and that's final, because this is a part of your punishment day. So you better shut up your mouth and deal with it. Wah! Fine, I will do it. Oh, I wonder how this is going to be? You will just have to find out for yourself. I'm leaving now, and I will be back in four hours. Have fun being in here for four hours without sitting down or doing anything. Wah! Oh my gosh, I don't think I will be able to stand up in here for four hours. Oh, this is going to be extremely bad. Wah! All right, your four hours is up. It's now time to move to your next punishment. Get out of here and let's go. Wah! Fourth punishment, deleting all of your social media accounts, including your Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and all social media you have. What do you mean? How on earth did y'all know my login information to all my social media stuff? We are police, and we are able to hack into anyone's social media. We have computers and stuff to do it with. So now, I will start deleting all social media you have right now. And there is nothing you can do to stop us. Wah! There. All of your social media accounts has been permanently deleted. So, you will never be able to log back into them again. And the most wonderful thing is, you will not be needing them anymore anyway, because you are getting executed at the end of your punishment day. So Jim, it's time for your next punishment. Wah! Oh my gosh, I can't believe y'all deleted all of my social media accounts. How could you all do such a thing like this? Too bad Jim. This is what you get for being such a horrible troublemaker and criminal to everybody in Ardmore, Alabama. If you had been much nicer to everyone in your neighborhood, none of this stuff would be happening. So now, it's time for your next punishment, Jim. Wah! Um, officer, why on earth did y'all take me to a grocery store? Well, we brought you here because this is where you will be having your fifth punishment. There is someone in here who wants to see you. So, get ready to see your visitor. Oh my gosh, I wonder who my visitor is going to be? Oh no! There is lots of people in here. And they are all looking at me in my prison uniform. Oh my gosh, now I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe what all is happening to me. Hello Jim. Do you remember me? Oh my gosh! Sally, what on earth are you doing here? And what do you want with me? Well Jim, I heard about everything you have been doing in the Ardmore neighborhood. And also, I heard you were trying to give Matthew a punishment day, all because you thought he was talking to your daughter on Facebook and Messenger. But Matthew clearly told me that he wasn't doing that at all. You were lying Jim. And you were just trying to find an excuse to give Matthew a punishment day. But it didn't work, because the Texas police came there and stopped you just in time. How dare you so much? So, I heard you were having a punishment day today. And I also heard you were getting executed too. So now, the reason why I'm here to see you is because I'm here to give you your fifth punishment to your punishment day today. Oh no 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 Oh no! What is my fifth punishment going to be? Well, your fifth punishment is, I am going to record a video of you throwing a temper tantrum in your prison uniform here in public, and me, and Matthew, and Michael, and Dianthe, and Tiny, and Olive, and all of my friends is going to upload it to all of our YouTube channels. And then, you are going to have the worst embarrassment of your whole entire life. I will start recording the video in 3, 2, 1, 
Zero. Wah. Oh my gosh, this can't be happening. Sally, you get the camera out of my face right freaking now 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 now. Wah. Wah. Ha 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 Oh my gosh, look at that old looking man over there throwing a horrible temper tantrum here in the store. And also, he has a prison uniform on. Ha 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 Oh my gosh, this is extremely so funny what I'm seeing right now. Ha 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 
What on earth is my sixth punishment going to be? Sixth punishment, you are going to drink this whole entire bottle of ghost pepper hot sauce. And we expect every bit of it drank up, or we will add more punishments in this punishment day. Alright, fine, I will drink it. But y'all are going to really regret this too. Wah Wah Oh my gosh, tiny, it's so hot 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 now my mouth is so on fire 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 on fire. Wah! Good. We don't care how bad it burns. This is what you get for being a horrible troublemaker, and being such a horrible criminal to everybody in our neighborhood in Ardmore, Alabama. So now, it's time for your seventh punishment. So, let's go. Wah! Seventh punishment, I will be making a post about you on Facebook and Instagram, saying that you got arrested and executed today. And I will also post your picture on there too. So, here I go. Wah! No Olive, please don't do that. I am so sorry for what I did to your boyfriend yesterday. And I promise to never ever do it again. I'm really being serious this time. Please Olive, please accept my apology. Please? No. I will never accept your apology. Never. And your apology is freaking permanently denied. You should have thought about this before you broke into Matthew's house, and falsely accused him of stuff he didn't do, and trying to give him a punishment day. So now, you must serve this punishment and that's a capital final. Now, I'm starting on my post right now, and there is nothing you can do about it. So, here I go right now. Wah. There we go. Your picture has now been posted on Facebook and Instagram, and I made a post saying that you got arrested, and a punishment day, and executed. Now, all my friends is going to see my post, and they are going to be so thrilled to see that you got arrested, and a punishment day, and executed. This is what you get for always being a extremely bad troublemaker in our neighborhood, and for being such a horrible criminal to everybody. I hope this teaches you a hard lesson Jim. And now, it's time for your 8th punishment. So, let's go and get the rest of this punishment day over with. Eighth punishment, I am going to take my razor, and shave every bit of your hair off. And I am going to shave it so hard, that it will hurt really badly. What? Oh no 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 you can't do that. Please don't shave off all my beautiful hair. I will look extremely so ugly if you do that to me. Please don't do it. Wah! Jim Hole. There is nothing going to stop me from shaving off all your hair. So, get ready to serve this punishment, because it's going to be a brutal punishment for you. Here I go right now. Wah! Wah! No! 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 Dianti, look what you have done. You completely shaved off all my hair, and my facial hair, 
and my eyelashes and eyebrows extremely so insanely. And now I look so ugly, and everyone is going to make fun of me. I can't believe you did this to me, Dianti. Wah! Ha 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 ha
and we are so done with you forever. You should be extremely so ashamed of yourself. I am so glad you are finally getting what you deserve. Goodbye forever. You horrible excuse of a neighbor and human being. But Matthew. Wait! Please don't do this to me. Please? I am extremely so sorry I kept on coming in your house and doing bad stuff to you and your brother and your sister and your girlfriend. And I am so sorry for always causing so much trouble all through Ardmore, Alabama all the time. I realize now that all that I was doing was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. Please give me another chance. I promise I will be a lot nicer neighbor to you all from now on. And I promise to never cause trouble, or come in your house, and do bad things to anybody ever again. Please forgive me, and please accept my apology. I beg you Matthew. Please? No! Do you think I'm stupid enough to fall for that? The answer is no. And your apology is permanently denied. And I'm pretty sure you would start doing all those horrible things again. You are lying to us. You should have thought about it before doing all that horrible stuff in the first place. I am so glad we don't ever have to deal with you anymore. Goodbye forever, you horrible excuse of a neighbor, and a horrible excuse of a human being. Alright Jim, I will now be executing you. Any last words before I pull the lever? Please officer. Please don't execute me. I am extremely so sorry for everything I did. And I promise I will never do any of those horrible things ever again. Please give me another chance. Wah! Jim, stop lying to us. You're just saying that so you can get out of jail in your execution. But it's not going to work. Anyway, I will now pull the lever. Goodbye forever Jim Holt. It was nice knowing you. Oh no 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 Stop! Please don't do it. I said I was extremely sorry for everything I have done. Please forgive me. I beg you. Please? Cry all you want to. But you are getting executed and that's the end of it. This is what you get for always causing trouble in Ardmore, Alabama, and for committing way too many crimes, and for coming in Matthew's house, and trying to give him a punishment day. All because you thought he was talking to your daughter on Facebook and Messenger, and falsely accusing him like that. If you hadn't have done all those horrible things to everyone in Ardmore, Alabama, none of this would be happening to you. Now, I will be pulling the lever in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, zero. Wah! Yes, Jim is finally dead, and now, we never have to put up with that horrible criminal ever again. This is so wonderful. I will now go tell Matthew the wonderful news. Hey there Matthew, welcome back. I have some wonderful news to tell you. Wow! Really? I can't wait to hear about it. Alright, here it goes. Jim Holt has now been executed, and he is dead now, and you don't ever have to put up with that horrible criminal ever again. You don't ever have to worry about him coming in your house, and doing bad stuff to you ever again. Wow! Thank y'all so much. Y'all are my heroes. I don't know what I could have done without y'all's help. I can't wait to go home, and invite my girlfriend and Tiny over and tell them about all of this. No problem at all Matthew, and I'm sure your girlfriend and Tiny is going to be so thrilled to hear that Jim got executed. Yes, you got that right. Anyway, I'm on my way back home right now. You have a wonderful day Jimmy. And it's so wonderful to see all of you again. Thank you so much, and you have a wonderful day too as well, and it's so wonderful to see you again too. And if you ever need us again, just call us and let us know, and we will be there to help you. Alright Jimmy. Sounds great. Hey Olive, I have something wonderful to tell you about. Oh wow. I would love to hear it. 
Please tell me about it, Matthew. Well, Olive, what I have to tell you is, Jim Holt finally got executed today. And he is gone for good now. And we never ever have to put up with him ever again. Wow. Yes. That is so wonderful, Matthew. That is the most wonderful news I have ever heard for a long time. I am so happy Jim finally got what he deserved. I know, right, Olive? It's so unbelievable that it actually happened. But it did. So now, how about you and I go out to Olive Garden and have supper, and celebrate Jim being out of our neighborhood forever? Wow, that's an awesome idea. I would love to go out and have supper at Olive Garden. All right then, let's go get ready to go to Olive Garden and have supper. Okay, Matthew. That sounds wonderful. Hey, where in the world am I? Oh no! Am I in? Oh no! It looks like I'm in hell. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually in hell. Oh, now I'm extremely so scared. What's going to happen now? Wah! Somebody please help me. I am burning in hell, and I can't escape, and I have nobody to help me. Help. 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 Wah! Oh no! That's Marvin. It looks like he got sent here too. I must come over there and try to help him. Oh, Jim. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting to see you. Oh my gosh, Jim, it looks like you got sent to this horrible place too. Yes, Marvin, it seems like I did. I've missed you so much, and I am so sorry you ended up here in hell. I got sent here, because I got a punishment day, and then I got executed. All because I was saying that Matthew was talking to my daughter on Facebook and Messenger. So then, after that, I woke up here in this horrible place called hell. And now I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, that is so horrible. And the same thing happened to me back in April, but I didn't get a punishment day. I just got executed for child and adult abuse, and for being a horrible troublemaker in the Ardmore neighborhood. And then I got sent here to hell just like you did. So now, what should we do now? I have no idea, but we need to try to get out of this horrible place before everything gets worse here. Yes Jim, that's a great idea. So, you're planning on trying to escape your sins, huh? Um, kinda. Um, as a matter of fact, yes, we were trying to escape. <laughs> wow, now you both made it a lot worse on yourselves. Since you both were trying to escape the hell, you are now receiving a horrible consequences. And the consequences is, I will end the two of you by shredding the two of you up to pieces. Especially you right behind Marvin. I heard you were trying to give Matthew a punishment day all because you thought he was talking to your daughter on Facebook and Messenger, and Matthew wasn't doing that at all. Both of you guys committed serious sins, and now you both are suffering the consequences for everything you did on earth. And now, it's time for the two of you to receive your serious consequences for everything y'all have done on earth. Here it goes. Oh no 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 Marvin, we are so in dead meat now. I know, I am extremely so scared about this.
Um. Chimp? Where are you at? I've been looking everywhere for you. And you are absolutely nowhere to be found anywhere. I really need to talk to you about something very important. Please tell me you're okay. Please? I am extremely so worried sick about you. You are my best friend, and I can't do everything without you in my life. Please come back to me, Jim. Please? Please be okay, Jim. I really miss you so much. Oh my freaking gosh. Randy, what in this world are you doing here? You are not supposed to be here in this house. Can you explain to me why you are here? Um, Mabel? The reason why I'm here is because I'm looking for my best friend Jim. I need to talk to him about something really important. Have you seen him anywhere? Oh my freaking gosh, Randy, are you crazy or something? The reason why Jim is not here is because he got arrested and executed for being such a horrible troublemaker around here, and for being a criminal to everyone in this neighborhood. And yesterday, he was about to give Matthew a punishment day all because he thought he was talking to his daughter on Facebook and Messenger. But Matthew wasn't doing that at all. Matthew is a really innocent boy, and he doesn't deserve anyone giving him a punishment day. So, Jim was about to give Matthew an extremely bad punishment day yesterday. But luckily the police came there and stopped him just in time. And then, he was in jail for the rest of the day yesterday, and then he got a punishment day today as payback for being so horrible to people in this neighborhood, and for being such a horrible troublemaker around here, and for causing so much trouble here in our neighborhood non-stop. And then, he got executed later on, and he is dead now. What? Oh no 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 Please no not my best friend Jim He was one of my best friends I ever had And now he is now gone forever Wow Seriously Randy I do not care about how much you miss Jim he was nothing but a horrible excuse of a son to me, and he was such a horrible troublemaker, and a criminal to everyone in this neighborhood, and he always caused so much trouble here all the time. He deserved to be arrested and executed for all of that. So now, Misty will be moving out here in a couple of days, and I am selling Jim's truck, and his car to, and all his stuff that's in here in his bedroom is going to be given out to other family members of mine. So... You must be another one of those troublemakers who causes a lot of trouble in the Ardmore neighborhood as well. You better get out of this house right now, before I call the police and have you arrested and executed as well. Get out of here right now. Go. Right. Now. Wah. Wah. I can't freaking believe that my best friend Jim has been arrested and got a punishment day, and got executed. First, Marvin got arrested and executed, and now Jim too. He was one of my most best friends I ever had. I'm going to always miss him so much. My life will never be the same without him now. Wow.